All right, guys, so let's talk about ass. Now, you guys already know how bad Smart Summon is. I really just don't really have any explanations other than for you guys to just watch this video here. All right. Wow. What the heck is doing? What the heck is it doing? This is like a one-time party trick and it uses the safest but quickest way possible disregarding all the different lines and obstacles around it to make sure that it gets to you in a very weird way. If I had to compare it to any other feature in the car, it has to be auto park. So Auto Park and Smart Summon is literally neck and neck for being the worst features in a Tesla at the moment. And on top of that, you have to pay full self-driving or enhanced autopilot to even experience this feature. Oh yeah, and let's not forget, you do have to have a vehicle with ultrasonic sensors. Otherwise, this is not even an option, even if you opt to purchase FSD. So yeah, it's kind of a big deal that this is finally coming. But the biggest thing that is going to come with this upcoming update here is going to be smart auto wipers. Now, not everyone experiences this same issue here. The auto wiper seems to work for some vehicles, but for other vehicles, it doesn't behave the same way. I'm not sure if this has to do with geographical location or when during the time of the day that you're using the vehicle. I personally use it a lot at night and this is where it happens the most. Now, there's three real things that happens with the auto wiper here that kind of bugs me when I use my Tesla. The first thing is that it dry wipes because of some kind of bug or splatter on the windshield that is a real issue it consistently wipes and wipes and it doesn't even try to use the windshield washer it just keeps going until the bug is gone honestly if you've ever had bug guts on your windshield dry wiping back and forth is not gonna fix the issue so you're gonna have to use some form of liquid now the next one here I experience on a daily basis because I drive at night and at night comes 50% of the day and this is when the wiper thinks there's Rain, but there's not because it just sees pitch black outside. This is something that Tesla really, really needs to get down. Final one here is when the wipers do go on and it does work, it goes mad. It goes to the highest setting possible. I know you guys experience this because most of the time when there is just drizzle or there is just a little bit more than that, it just goes at max speed and at times it just feels like it's too intense even for myself. I typically like to leave it on the speed just before the max speed where it just does a consistent consistent swipe back and forth. I think this is the perfect one. And unless there is a torrential downpour, this is really the speed that you want. So I don't know why it does it most of the time. I thought this should have been fixed by now. Oh yeah, and FYI, if you are on autopilot or FSD, it takes control of the wiper setting. So you're not gonna be able to disable it when you're on autopilot. So take your pick, which one you're gonna do. Are you gonna have to manually drive your vehicle or you're gonna have to replace your wipers very often? So I know I'm making a big deal out of this, which is fairly nothing. Honestly, these two things don't really affect the vehicle overall. Smart Summon is gonna be a very nice convenience feature but it's not needed dry wiping is not super big deal if it doesn't happen 100% of the time so these two things honestly not too bad but it's getting fixed so just recently we heard it from the big boss himself that smart auto wipers is coming in about three weeks and then after that a month or two actual smart summon s is going to be coming this is where the vehicle is going to be using all eight cameras and the neural net to determine if it is raining or not so it's not going to be dependent purely on the front facing camera just because there could be something blocking it doesn't necessarily mean all the other cameras will see the same thing so i guess with all the fsd beta updates tesla Tesla hasn't really been prioritizing a lot of these public beta builds. Things like the auto wiper wasn't on the top of the list of things to do until just really recently where people complain too often. And especially for those with hardware 4 and without ultrasonic sensors, that's kind of a bummer. So what's happening here with ASS is that it's going to be using Tesla Vision and the neural net and the FSD beta codes. As you guys can already tell from the FSD beta drives, it does very well in the parking lots. It can detect people, curbs, cars, 
practically everything. So using the same code and applying to the parking stack is going to make it work wonders. So really, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But if you can summon your vehicle without looking at it from a distance and it comes pick you up from its parking stall to the front entrance of a mall, that would be the coolest thing in the world. And maybe it would get me to purchase FSD once again. So yeah, the biggest thing for me is going to be the auto wipers. And then we'll have to wait and see how the actual smart summon plays out. Out. If it does really good and it brings a lot of convenience to me, I might go ahead and fork out 20,000 Canadian dollars just to have it once again. Anyways guys, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely a lot more videos coming out with Hardware 4 and Project Highland and all the good stuff that has been coming out. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. Once again, this is John. Peace out.